very exciting. I work very closely with Breast Cancer Campaign to raise not only funds but awareness of this awful BRCA gene. So to be woken up this morning by the BBC at 6am was a pleasure. Um, to hear that someone as glamorous and yet sensible as Angelina Jolie has done exactly what I did three years ago. What happened to you? Why did you have to do that? Well, I was tested for the gene um, when one of my first cousins had really horrible cancer and she managed to track back and see that actually the family was definitely carrying some sort of gene. And I felt, I felt as I think everybody does when they have any sort of encounter with cancer, you know, initially you feel, why me? This is horrible. Why do I have to lose my breast? I also felt I'm not sick. Um, it feels very strange to have such massive surgery when you're not sick. But honestly, my odds were as high as Angelina's and I love my husband and my children and my parents and my friends. And you, you really do everything you can to avoid cancer in this, in this world. One of the analogies that I often quote is if somebody said that your flight crossing the Atlantic was about 85, 86% likely to come down. You wouldn't get on that aeroplane, would you? Nevertheless, it is a, a significant, it's a massive step for any woman to take. I mean, did it affect your sense of, of who you are, your attractiveness, all that? Well, actually, it's a really good question. And I think what people don't really realise, and it's worth pointing out, is that you don't go into this awful major surgery um, knowing that you're going to come out without breasts. I actually had immediate reconstruction there in the theatre. So I think that helped me make this decision. I think it would have been a much harder decision to have made if I thought that I was going to wake up with nothing. Um, I woke up with breasts.